Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 31, Sketching Graphs, as part of my IGCSE exam series. If you do find it useful, please do like and subscribe. And these questions start off easy uh, using the table function on your calculator, but there are some really tricky ones at the end, so make sure you give those a watch. Okay, let's get into the maths. Okay, so for a question like this, it's all about using the table function on your calculator. So you go down to table and you type in the function, which is 1 plus 5x uh, minus x squared. Whoops. Minus x squared. You press equals. You only do one function at a time, so you press equals again. You start at minus 1 because that's the first x value. And you go up to 6 because that's the last one. And the gap between the x values is 1. So we have minus 5, 1, 5, 7. So minus 5, 1, 5, 7. And then we scroll down and we get 7 again. And we get 5, 1, minus um, 5. Perfect. And then all we need to do is plot these. So the first coordinate is minus 1, minus 5 which is there, and then it's 0, 1, which is there, and then it's 1, 5, which is there, and then it's 2, 7, and then it's 3, 7, and then it's 4, 5, 5, 1, and then the last one is minus 5 at 6. Okay, and then you connect it up with a smooth curve. And here's a top tip. Don't draw a flat line across. Okay, it's a quadratic. It's always curved. So it's going to come up a bit higher and, the, and then come down like this. Okay, so make sure you don't draw a straight line across. Otherwise, you will lose a mark. Okay, next question is very similar. So I might just skip through this first part. Um, 1 squared minus 5 plus 6 is the same as 2. And then over here we're going to get 25 minus 25 plus 6 is 6. Um, so sketching that is going to give me 0, 6, 1, 2, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 2 and 5, 6. They're trying to catch us out again with this um, flat bottom. It's not going to happen. I'm always going to curve it around like that. That's not a very good curve, actually. Let's do that again. To there. And then up to there. Yeah, that would do. Lovely. Okay, the next question says, um, by draw a suitable line on the grid, find estimates for this equation. Now, this is the graph that you have. x squared plus minus 5x plus 6. So what you'll need to do is below here, write x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals. Now, let's look at the left-hand side. What have I done in order, or what would I need to do to turn this blue part into this um, equation which we have at the bottom there? Well, I'll need to add 6 to it. So if I do that, I must add 6 to this side as well to keep the equation the same. Adding 6 to that side gives me x minus 1. So this equation that I've got here in yellow is exactly the same as the equation I've got in blue. And the equation in blue is the one I'm trying to solve. So let's just solve the one in yellow instead. They're exactly the same. And how am I going to solve the one in yellow? Well, I've already got this curve drawn on my graph. So if I just draw this curve or this straight line here, where they cross will be our solutions. So I've got to draw x minus 1. So x minus 1 is a gradient of 1 and a y-intercept of minus 1. So I start at the y-intercept. I go 1 across in the x. I have to go up 1. 1 across, up 1. 1 across, up 1. 1 across, up 1. 1 across, up 1. And then I'm going to connect them up with a straight line. And where they cross is going to be my estimates for my solutions. So right there, that looks like 1.6. And over here, 
that looks like 4.4. So those are my two correct uh, estimates. Okay, next question, I've got a, quad, uh, a cubic, and I'm going to use the table function again to get my solutions. So I'm going to do um, uh, x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. And I am going to be going um, for minus 2 up to um, up to three, but being very careful here, there are gaps. The ga gaps are different. Uh, I'm going to go for 0 0.5, and that will cover everything which I will need. But I need to be a bit careful when looking at my answers. So minus two is minus six. Uh, minus one is the next one, which is four. And then we have the next one we need is one. Um, which is 0, and then we have uh, 2, which is minus 2, and 3, which is uh, 4. Okay, great. Now let's just plot that. So minus 2 minus 6 is down here, minus 1, 4 is here, uh, minus a half and just shy of 5 is about here, uh, 0, 4, 1, 0, I've got 1.5 and minus um, just over 1.5 and, and 2 minus 2 and 3, 4. And then we connect that up with a smooth curve. It should look a bit like a roller coaster. It goes up, comes back down, and then goes back up again. Lovely. And then here comes the tricky question. It says on a uh, draw a suitable straight line on the graph to find estimates for this. Okay, so what we do is we take our equation that we know and that we've drawn on, which is x cubed minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. We write that below, so we write x cubed minus um, 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 equals. And then we have to ask ourselves, how. what do I have to do to that equation to get it to here? Well, I'm going to have to take away 2x, and I'm also going to have to add on 3. So in order for me to do that and make that equation uh, stay the same, I'm going to have to do that to both sides. So I'm going to have to take away 2x from there, and I'm going to have to add on 3. And the right-hand side is 0, so 0 take away 2x is just minus 2x, and plus 3, we just have plus 3. So now those two equations that I've got here, the blue one and the yellow one, are identical. And we can solve the blue one by solving the yellow one and that is already drawn for us, so we just need to draw this and see where they intersect. Okay, so that's so that's uh, free intercept and minus two gradient. So we draw free at the intercept, and minus two means I go along one and then I go down two. I go along one and I go down two. I go along one down two. And going backwards, I'd go back and then two, and back and then two. Drawing that straight line will look something like this. And the x coordinates where they intersect, intersect, sorry, are minus zero point eight. Um, let's call that one um, 0 0.5 and let's go up here and call that one uh, 2.3 and we're done okay tricky question this one um, the point P on the curve has x coordinate 2 use the graph to find an estimate for the gradient 
at P. Well, what I need to do is draw a tangent, so a line which just touches that point there at P. So I'm going to draw something that looks like that. Uh, maybe I'll try that again. Maybe I'll go a bit more like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. And then I'm going to make a right angle triangle. And I'm going to say that the run is down 4, so that's minus 4. Sorry, the rise, we're going downwards, so minus 4. And the run across is um, 0 0.8 plus 5 plus 0 0.8 again. So that is... Um, 5 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.8, I would say that's roughly about 6.6 uh, .6 going across there. Yeah, happy with that. So the gradient is the rise over the run. So an estimate would be minus 4 over 6.6 .6 which is about minus 0 0.61. This is hence find an equation of the line uh, for the tangent. Well, that tangent has that gradient. And the intercept of that tangent went through about here, which is about 3.2. Six. So let's do plus 3.6. And then it says that f of x equals k, um, which is a horizontal line, because that's like a line like, for example, y equals 8. So there's a horizontal line, has exactly two different solutions. Use the graph to find the two possible values of k. So I'm looking for a horizontal line which will cut our graph twice and only twice. So if I just get rid of this, I could draw a horizontal line across here which cuts once and then cuts again so that's twice. Or I could draw a horizontal line across here which cuts once and then twice. And those are the only two horizontal lines I could draw that cut only exactly twice. So those um, y equals lines are at 3 and at minus 1. So the answers are minus 1 and 3. And we're done. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you did find that useful, please do like and subscribe and then move on to the next topic. Bye for now.